What's that? How was Woodward Dream for you? Oh, Woodward was incredible. Um, a dream come true, really, to have my Camaro on display at the Chevy display. You know, growing up in Vegas, I went to SEMA show a lot, and you'd see different cool cars, uh, and then to see a driver's name or a, an actor or an athlete's name attached to a car, uh, just gave me the the goal or the vision to try to have my car uh, posted up with with Chevy, and so it was neat at the Woodward Cruise, cars everywhere. Uh, man, I, I wish I just brought a change of clothes and went a mile down the road and just blended in. Uh, there was just a ton of people that wanted autographs and pictures, but definitely got to take in as much as I could yesterday. It's really neat to see uh, that spirit of the cruise alive and well right now. Would that be a great crossover event to have more NASCAR guys, you know, publicized ahead of time coming in there and doing a ride down in Woodward? Oh, for sure. I mean, Woodward is a very successful program, as is. Uh, but then to have everybody uh, work their way down 94, come down 50 and 12, and make it to the track, that's what, yeah. that's what would really connect. Kurt, look, uh, look back to the first part of this season. Are there specific races that maybe you look back that you guys have possibly left maybe a win or more playoff points on the table at? Oh, wow, don't get me started. We got, we got enough time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Coda slipped through our fingers. Uh, we were a little better, but the rain... Uh, came heavy right as soon as I made my biggest mistake. Uh, Darlington got wrecked out early. Hopefully we'll go back there this time with the playoffs and capitalize on what we need. Anytime there's a playoff race uh, early in the year, as far as the track, you have to get as many notes as possible. So Bristol and Richmond all in the first round. Bristol was dirt earlier this year. You know, and so you gotta, you gotta find the right notes. You gotta find the right rhythm. Uh, but all in all, anytime you you lose points, you got to find out what the reasoning was for that and still stay stay focused on what will make sure the best day happens when we get to that track in the future. Six road courses in the, uh, the regular season. Brett at the uh, end. The Roble is the, the or finale for that uh, that round. Do you feel the more road courses that we've run this season is actually a benefit to that being an elimination race? Yeah, I think that it, it gives everybody the, the focus that this is important and you can't skip it. There's some guys that really love the road courses, uh, like an A.J. Allmendinger. Uh, and then there's guys like Brad that go, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go there to survive. Well, now it's a cutoff race. And you know Brad will be up on the wheel. He's one of the best in the playoffs. So road courses, when they announced how many we were going to have, I, I knew that the, the importance value just stepped up big time.